Every child is born an artist. The trick is how to remain an artist as we grow up. That's a quote from Pablo Picasso, the famous artist. And there's this strange belief that art is somehow separate from the economy. It's not. The economy is about how we fulfill our needs, how we earn a living, how we enjoy ourselves. So I've come down to 36 Lime Street, that's between uh, seven stories and the Clooney in the Usburn Valley, to see some actual practicing artists because we've launched our cultural and creative investment program and I want to, to talk to them, work with them, work with them, understand what would really help their businesses flourish. As a freelance artist, I work in so many different communities. I work in Sure Starts with youth services, libraries, um, and the kind of work I do is working with people to help them make their own art and make their own culture, so it's vital. Why? I mean, what, what, what change does it make? I guess people having, um, having the ability to make their own art gives them a sense of pride of where they live, you know, gives them aspirations, help them think outside the box particularly good for people's mental health and it's something that they can basically have pride in basically and take them off into a different journey. There's very few things in life where you're allowed just to have whatever opinion you want and the arts allows that. You can look at artwork and whatever you feel is right. I think the arts is a way to communicate ideas and thoughts that we don't always feel or see but it's about our own expression or our own interpretation of things and that's a really valuable skill. The absorbing yourself in something is hugely satisfying. It helps you kind of thinking about yeah problem solving, <laughs> fun, creativity, colour, there's so much that it brings um, and th th that sounds maybe quite simplistic but it's not, there is obviously something much deeper than that and it's also something which is uh, which you can share. People might think oh I can't paint or I can't draw, you know the art is so broad you know you can get involved in loads of different ways, it's music, it's performance, you can do things as groups, as individuals, you can do writing um, but you need a space to be able to do that, you know you need art artists around to be able to help you do that and achieve that. That was really interesting hearing first hand from people who, who do this for a living what their issues are. A lot of it is about having the right space. Places like this they need an investment in broadband infrastructure so that they can like grow their businesses but also make art accessible to more people particularly around things like accessibility and, and disabilities. A lot of it's about the ecosystem, the facilitation, because if you're a freelancer and you're working full time, you know, it, it does need a space so people can share skills, spare, share ideas. And I think this is very much the space that we're in. We have our culture and creative investment programme. Have a look on the website. If you're interested, please really do apply because this, this is a, an industry that I really want to support here in the north of time.